What's up fellow Godzilla nerds, my name is Godzilla Glenn, and today I'm going to be teaching you 5 things Godzilla collectors should never do, so let's get into it. Number 1. Never take off the tag. Bandai vinyl Godzilla figures usually come with this cardboard tag. You know, it seems insignificant at first. I mean, I would just take the tags off and throw them away. But just take a look at these listings on eBay, some of these figures sell for more than double the price of a figure without the tag. I would recommend buying baseball card protectors to put around your tags, but if you really don't like to have them on your figure, it's a good idea to still keep them. Number 2. Never wear out your figure's joints. Even though your Godzilla figures are super poseable, it may be a good idea to display rather than play, because loose figure joints can really devalue your figures and lead to a lot of oh. Not to mention that it's a lot harder to pose your figures over time if the joints are too loose. Number 3. Never take something out of the package. If one of your Godzilla collectibles is in a box or a blister pack, that means you should probably not take it out of the box. Mint condition figures in their original packages sell for a lot more than loose figures, and I think they look really good on your display shelves. Number 4. Never buy bootleg figures to complete your collection. You may have been tempted from time to time to buy bootleg Godzilla figures to add to your collection as a replacement for some more expensive real figures, but it's never the same. Full disclosure, I have tried buying bootleg figures before, but I quickly realized how off they look. These figures are obviously fake, and you're better off just saving money for a legitimate figure. Number 5. Never buy something just because it's Godzilla related. I know some collectors who buy anything Godzilla at the store just because, hey, look, it's Godzilla. I like Godzilla, but that really isn't the point of collecting. You should be buying the figures you like, and the ones you actually want to display. Because if you just buy something just because it's a Godzilla figure, then you're just going to turn into a kaiju hoarder. Well, those were 5 things Godzilla collectors should never do. Let me know down in the comments if you've done anything that I've mentioned in this video, and tell me if you agree or disagree with this list. Anyway, keep collecting those kaijus. Godzilla Glenn, out.